It's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news, the blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous Nervous Test Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Books, games, a couple of CDs, very me, and an asthma inhaler, for some reason. No idea who left it here. Might have been Sophia. Hope she has another. Although since she hasn't been here for over a month, I guess she does. My trusty portable radio. These days it gets a lot of use. My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. Is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. It's a novelty phone. Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. There are messages on the answering machine. I don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The NIST just told me you'd been in. Should've let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. Nobody else around, but My mom gave me this when I moved. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and if I was drinking coffee, but I'd... Ah, the sofa. So many happy memories of sitting here, doing fuck all. Wait, no, the other... Sure, yeah, I'll... There's something behind the radio. Got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I'm back behind the radiator at go- The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly- A surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about- Just my scribblings. Now I'm Probably do an upgrade. They say peace unless you're broke. Which power on? It's a photo of me with my friend, and that asshole's there too. It was taken on my birthday a few. 
a photo of Gavin with his face scribbled out. Hey, a, a girl's entitled to the occasional pet even. Nope, not changing it. A memento. Gavin wants no idea how he did it. While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I've grown attached to the some games magazine. I've already read it. Twice, because some games magazine. Every review score is seven or above. Some games magazine. Some games magazine. Every review score is seven or above. Probably do enough unless you're Right, let's do this. Oh look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever, I've always loved his writing. Very personable, makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course, I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. Ah, here it is, I think. Writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Probably do and up unless you're broke. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. The kitchen. Let's do this then. It could be this one. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, I'd love to sit down and read the by applying the principles of objectivism to this. Since I haven't read it, I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. I'm saving it for I haven't thought about this book in years. Now, nah, let's knock it side. Sophia's Inhaler, The Mirror by Graham Masterson. I remember this being pretty terrifying when I was a teen. Sanctum by this just came out. I have an especially, in fact, everyone should. 50 Great Coastal Walks of the British Isles Vol- I checked this out of the library years ago, then for- I've never even been to Britain. I can't fake- Nah. 50 Great Coastal Walks of the British- I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. I've never even been to Britain. Since I haven't read it- Leaving Megalopolis. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. Death. The high cost of living. Just all the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was... Special topics in Calamity. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. The one memento from Gavin on Oh, Cassell. You are strange and troubled with For your graduation. I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. 
his, the island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. I resent having to pay special delivery. The next train isn't for two weeks. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. Looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? Now it's storming. And this is gonna be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order might make a change. Looking outside, it seems like the storms hit a little early. I'm not reaching. Rain, I'm thunder, not. lightning, the works. So batten down those hatches and get ready for a cozy musical night in hmm. can't, can't be locked. I think I can DVD jimmy it open with something. My DVD I think if you... Sure. I... Adorable little pot Gilbert did it. There's something in amongst the fronds. Ah, got it. So you want to give up smoking, a self-help book. Kinda wish I hadn't found this now. Gavin's old coat. Well, the night he left, I guess. I do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up though. I don't really... I've got no desire to... Ah, uh, the- wait. Sure, yeah. Now, nah, what? Sophia's in hate. I haven't thought- I'm not calling her. It's a novel. I think I can jimmy it open with something. Unfortunately, it won't be any use. Unfortunately, Gavin took all the cutler. It won't be any use. The more I think... If I was drinking, but I... My mom gave me... Gavin had to... It has... You know what? I think this idea is so... I can jimmy it open. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Oh. I'm not closing it again, after all. Right. Let's see what photo of me and Gavin. And here are the DVDs. Don't really. I'm joking, of course. Gavin? Oh, Rob. Oh, really? That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over. Shit, I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit, yes. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Hello? 
I... Thank you. I can't breathe. Alex, Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. Uh, just. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to. It'll be alright. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad. Hey, look. Thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No. Yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am. Yeah, I do. Honestly, tomorrow you're gonna have me sniveling on your doorstep, begging you to listen. No, it's okay, Al. Take. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Ro I don't want to think about anything right now. There's always tomorrow. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren on the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glass. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we- You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. Looks like the storm didn't reach here. It's a clean, crisp night. Just an intellectual looking guy. So I uh I'm not sure. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. It hasn't moved. So... Oh. So uh a little port town. <laughs> Last stop. <laughs> me too. I'm not staying there though. Auger, Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. Huh. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination. <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But, you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Train should be here soon. <sighs> Fool that I am, I forgot to- All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Hmm... The porter can get it when the train pulls in. A pile of luggage, including mine. This place is lonely and forlorn. We're in the Just gone midnight. It's a bit too big. There's nobody in... The Charnel House burial? I don't remember bringing... 
I guess... I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Pulp horror? Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. I can't say I... Oh. Looks like this is us. Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. Well... Who's a cute little dog? I know just who'll like that. <coughs> Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know... <coughs> That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch and listen like you always do. It'll be over soon and you'll be back... I reckon. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? God damn. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without... It's nothing. I can't just cart around any old thing. I don't want to be... Comfy enough to sleep on. Comfy enough to... Comfy enough... What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. No sense in taking the entire thing. It's nothing. Shutters down. Shutters down. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. I'm... I'm going... I can't just cart... A painting of an old train. A painting of a train. It's nothing... Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. A friendly looking fellow. Good evening, my friend. Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. <laughs> Something like that. Right you are, then. 
That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? It runs like clockwork, so if it's the <sighs> You kids today. We've got to be the same, mate. Well, practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. Locked. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Right you are then. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing. Isn't that a bit of a... Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. You... Sheesh. Uh... Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> I can give you the key though. On one condition. Please don't. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Whew. Locked. Not really something I... Dr. Harold Lang. Ah, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. A crisp. F it's my credit. Aha! Open. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't. A solemn looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring up. It's not. Locked. Damn. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side. Ah, better hurry. Ah. Locked. Not really. Not really. No good. Locked. Damn. The restaurant is locked. Ah, Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do it. Ah. Can hear me. He doesn't look very well. That's a beautifully polished wooden box. I can't just go gr a huge black hold all. This isn't mine. I hello. He's muttering. So Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a... Shut it and see it.
locked. I lock. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes. Uh, the... Aye. And I'd be the same way after I met a booze most of these boys. Not as... Ah, oh, well. Give the boy time. Hey, so one of your fellow passengers popped their head at the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out. Thanks. Um... <laughs> Well, this was the right room. Hello? It's nothing. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Could... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocked. More... Something doesn't feel right about this. I want to have a look inside. More... Something... I want to have a... I already have one. A pile of paper dog. Shuttered... Sh it's nothing in... I can't just... It's nothing... Shattered and sealed. Food's getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. We sp Food's getting... Food's getting... Food... Good evening. Ah, Mr. Lang, how nice. It's Dr. Lang, actually. But quite. I suppose business. A drink, Mr. Lang, that is what... Perhaps a bite to eat for... Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all... I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Huh. It's empty. Flask's empty, Floyd. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. Five pounds. Here you go, Mike. Better hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want... I think I can manage. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road? I can... And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more? God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. I just... I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. Th what the... I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your prom... Whiskey. For Don. A whiskey bottle. Once more under the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter... How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. I don't have that much money. I'm sure you'll find a way... Not really. Nicely stocked.
hates me. Oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met. I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for? You're lonely. I think Floyd was right. Worth a try, I suppose. <laughs> that seems... I think he wants me to open it. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. A beautiful teardrop shape. It's firmly attached, but... Ah, it's open. Oh! He's playing with a dog. He's playing with... A huge black holdall. This isn't mine. I... Friendly looking. Oh, boy. Talk about dramatizing it. Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me. Gettle. What are you talking about? But you said. No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But, you know. I'll let you learn. You've got spirit. Well, thanks. But I reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. It's not normally like that. Even Floyd's usually around. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? Not seen anyone around. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. A good book. A good book, eh? A good book, eh? A friendly looking... A good... Locked. Hope don't like... Well... Why not? The key to 2A. Maybe I'll... Uh, no. Huh. Guess you won't... Something I want to have a look at. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. My God! They're Victorian death pictures! I thought as much. My God! Not really. Not. Not. Not really. I want to have a look. If I shut off the lamp, then the room will be pitch black. Shut it and see. Shut. A 
a solemn look. Not released. It's locked. This wasn't here before. It's slightly unzipped. I don't... A control panel of... I... D this wasn't here. I don't want to be in the dark. This can't be here for There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. There. It came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside. It's... I can't do this anymore. This isn't my... I can't... The panel is open. A switch mark. The train's picking up speed. I'll just slide it open. No. Earth. Nothing but... So bored. That was pretty rude of me. I... Whoa. God damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. I wonder if there are any other. I should go stretch my legs. See if that train dude's around. Ask him where the other guy's cabin is. Nice. I. A cute doggy. He looks like my model dog. Nice. I've a portrait of a sickly look. We're moving fast. This I'd freeze to death if I opened the window. I don't want to. A compartment. A compartment door. A compartment door. A steam train. It looks. Ex There's a plaque at the bottom. It says, Old Gloria's Inaugural Trip, December 1988. I have no... 
when I saw him earlier, I thought he was old. But no, he just has white hair. Hey! Evening, lassie. How's old Gloria treat- Gloria? The train, lass. Old girl just had a service. It's... Hmm. <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part. So, she's not- She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, he young and don't want to be listening to old going on about his- Oh, no. <laughs> when I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking- Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tat. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. Oh yeah? Oh, just your usual stuff. Found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a- So, anything- You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I- I should- It's pretty unusual to find such a late night route, right? I was surprised- Aye. I like the night shift. Less so tonight, mind. My doctor's been up and down like a yo-yo. He won't sit still. Surprise he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment? No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. So, the port town- Aye. Quaint little nibbleworm set. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular- You ever been yourself? Augur Peak? Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Oh, so- Aye, got some time off. You got family there? Aye, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. So, you- Aye, off to Augur to dig around in the ruins. I had no idea my old home island had any so Here. It's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an end. Wait, wait. His name isn't- uh, Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Friend of a friend. That's so weird. Life can be strange. <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Actually, it's funny. It's not just us, either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. I've heard a fair bit about him. Aye. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know. Huh. Yeah. I get you. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly. He's in 1B. But hey, he told me he was going to take a nap. Asked me to wake him in an hour. So I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. Okay. Cheers. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Uh, Floyd? Floyd. The barman. Runs the bar? It's open, if you find- Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about- Oh, I could go for some what? <laughs> Nobody wants his yak- Okay, sure. When I saw- I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides... A compartment door. I can hear the f They sound busy. A compartment door. They sound... A compartment door. Listening to the music makes me sad. sign. Oh, sounds like he's at- Oh, look. Someone's left a Bloody Mary line. Well, it is just sitting. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. Well. No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. Just what I like to see. I can't reach a- all the tables are laid with food. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry.
compartment door. I can... Uh, hi? Hey. A small girl dressed in a ballet outfit. She looks very sad. Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? <laughs> hey, call me Alec. What do you want to... Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with- Grown-ups. We- So, hey. Yeah? I do. I love comics. I used to want- Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You pr- Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you do, kiddo. I used to do- Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. I hate ballet. I keep trying and trying, but I don't get any better. You seem pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it, then? My daddy wants me to. He's- Oh, man. That takes me back. Didn't work, though. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dance. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge- <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a- I like your neck. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boy- Uh, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend. But boys are t Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. He has a silly name. He's a silly man. Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Okay. I shouldn't. A music. I have no. N There's only one bag. I'm not going to rummage through her bag. A small girl. Maybe I should go see Dawn. A compartment door. I can. They sound. Hey! Evening, miss. Any sign of our do- Well, I tried to wake him, but he was out cold. I could go get some cold- <laughs> I'm imagining it now. Anyway, Don, I want- Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, missy. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. How strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the- You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. Oh, aye. Her. Yep. Who was she? I to who? Me. Don't- oh, Aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again- Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Aye. You're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, can we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, hi. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He loved me like a daughter, too. What about your mum? Still? Well, I... Uh, you assume... I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. Hang on. Hang on, you don't know anything. Oh, la. Ah, balls. There we go, into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down, we're in this for the long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. 
I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. Hey. I. When I saw him earlier, I thought he was old. A compartment door. It's too dark to go... Here, use this lighter. Good work, lass. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. Well, that sounds... It's alright. I told him to be on his best behaviour. This is a passive... Is it? <sighs> what? Something's not right about... Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. No resp- It's locked. Fuck it. Huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? You in there? Lydia? A fire extinguisher. No. Nah. They sound a compartment door. They sound busy. Uh, Rob? Alex! Hello! You promised you'd call! You never- Rob, it's the middle of the night. Did you follow me here? Why are you on the gut? Oh, Alex, come on. When Gavin left you? When your dad died? When you were getting those threatened? Oh, God. Exactly. You're pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destiny. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap! Feast upon the eyes of God. Then a sudden scream. Pe Rob, you're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back. Lydia, I... Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Put her belly. Find the key. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. I might need this. I'm not hungry. I can't. Huh. Nah. A compartment door. They said. They said. I've been. I. Locked. Lang's compartment. Nah. I shouldn't dis a compartment. I'd better not some kind of con Nah. I probably shouldn't go in there. This door leads to the actually do I really want to know? Apartment door. They sound busy. Hmm. Weird. There's a key here.
Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey. Uh, uh, Sophia? Hey, you invited us. I've only had one. Gavin was looking for you. Oh, God, what? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down as being- Oh, great, Carly too. Fuck this, Gavin is not here. You're not here. None of this is here. None of this is real. I'm- Whoa, Alex. Do. Have you taken something? I say it, don't worry about it. Alex is just being a weird- Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to- She's gonna run the house. She's just str- Yes! I'm stressed! Isaiah likes being in- My trusty port- A crowd of people. I can make out some of my- I don't want to talk to the- My friends. Sophia- Sure. Alone. I- I can't leave, really. Fuck off. We're all friends here, Alex. Okay, okay. Your apartment. No, we're on a- You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Gavin and I broke up month- Alex, honey, what? We broke up on- It's your birthday today. 27. Definitely. 27 Club A, Alex? Gonna take a hit? Snor- Yo, Isaiah, you got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean- Well. As close as can be. Carly, what the f- Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Just cause you've gone through some shit? Just cause you had- I don't know. That's enough. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. Carly, shut Ignore her. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Lily fucking Cassell. And your shit healed douche canoe behavior won't bring me the fuck down on my birthday. No Whoa. Okay, ladies. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's Alex. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex, seriously. Fuck you both. Hey, listen, I'll talk to Carly. I'll get her to- Fine. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. I don't. It's Car- I feel so fucking. Huh? Nah. What the fuck? A huge bat. I won't go rooting through. I won't go. I. W A huge. A huge. Fuck it. I have no need. Sure. Huh? That sounds like my. Oh, someone answered that bloody phone. Sorry. I think the ringing's coming. And it's ringing with hello hello little porcelain girl oh fuck don't you dare hang up don't you fucking dare i can see you right now you know i doubt that a train cabin 1c oh fuck i'm always watching you little porcelain girl always can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe you're
I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat. You just, I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick. And then I'll slice your fucking throat. If you, I will find out who you are. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A. If you got the Oh. Oh, damnation. I'm sorry, lass. I should have knocked. No, no. I, uh, held you through the door. Yeah, dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. it ah. Well, I don't know. It makes no... But it's too much of... I? Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Still. At least you're well away and safe on... O no, he said he's here. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fella with a stick up his ass. <laughs> well then. <laughs> I mean... What did you do? Oh, I was kidding. I don't... You've seen young Lydia tonight? Yeah. Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just... Uh, where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. Oh. Well, right you are then. I should just go... To Wait. The guy told me to... Well, there's no one in, one, eh? I think I... Well... Bye. Jesus. Okay, Alex. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little. It'll be worth it. I guess I should head to 1A. Rob? Hey, Alex. <sighs> Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin. You know what I mean. It's his doing. So you said. Oh no, he's trying to fuck with both of us. I don't think you have anything to worry. Alex, I've... Why? Just, you know, I care about you a lot, Alex. Yeah. You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. Missing. Disappear. I never did find out who took her. I know. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. Keith raised me like his own, but I always wondered, you know? <laughs> Look at us. We were right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. No, I was... No! It's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is? The worm! The worm inside my head! Burrowing... Rob, stop it! Listen. I came in. I came in and I... No, stop! I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do... I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of... You're my... Oh, fuck! It wasn't me! It was Gavin! He's a no-good, dirty boy! He just wants to use you! Wants your body! You have to keep away from him, Alex! Keep away from- No! I've been watching over you! All the time! And now the worm wants to eat my eyes! Stop me watching! They're trying to take my porcelain doll away- Rob! Are you the one who's been calling me? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually in I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. That is all. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had- Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking- The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king. The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Now, stay- Photos of me. Some of them are from inside of my- I don't- Don't you fucking touch my- It's a- I think it has my hair, my actual- A lantern. I'd 
rather try- Rob. Tell anyone what. That tried to protect you. Rob, you need help. You need to talk to- No. I have to keep you safe. My neighbor, Rob. What are you doing? Let me through. Oh, no, you- Don't fuck- You only call me Roberts when you- Well, yeah. I am fucking, and why? If you'd seen what I've seen- Then tell me. Tell- No! I have to protect you! I could kill for- Nah. Rob, I'm going to- Smoking will kill- Jesus Christ, at least let- Okay. I don't smoke. It's surprising. No. <laughs> Rob, I feel for you. I really. What were you doing? In my stalker, my, my neighbor. He might need medical attention. Now slow down, lassie. Rob. Robert Crow, he's my he's the one who's been calling me, encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the but but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. <sighs> no then. Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Yeah, I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go I don't rightly think I can, Lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there. I, you understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I, I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. <laughs> the engine of death. Only... Tonight we make our last stop. I know, but... The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff, but you're setting us all free tonight. Who is up? Me and, well, you'll see. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in camp. Oh. Locked. I can hear sh the door to my... Hey, Al. I'm... Man, really? We... Yeah. I've never seen a girl cuss... Oh. Oh, yeah, that was... That was tonight? Yeah, are you... Yeah. Time's... Time's... Alright. Sophia took... Maybe you should... I don't know. Last time, I left it. I blamed them both. My friends would never talk to me about it. I need to find out what really happened. So... In my opinion, she was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. You walked in. You walked... I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing... I wondered that. I always did. He said he wanted to end it too. That he wa You didn't really give him a chance to. Oh. I mean, afterwards. Wait, that hasn't happened to you. Girl, you're ma Anyway, my advice is, go talk to Carl. Okay. He's gone, right? Yeah, your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him. Okay, don't- Hey, it was kind of funny. Last I saw, he was headed off. Tomorrow. Have you seen- Don't know the dude- My neighbor. Oh, nah. Okay. Isaiah- Huh? No. Oh, shit. Yeah. What? Nothing. I- <sighs> Man. Okay. Like I said. Okay. Peace. Apparently, Carly and Sophia. 
Hey, Alex. You- I am Judas. She's freaking out. Look, she threw herself at Gavin. So Isaiah said- I am Judas. <sighs> Who in the- What? Car- No. Alex, don't dick her- I am the sinner. There's something wrong with his face. He's clutching a small- Carly. Alex. I well, yeah, I fucking- I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. He promised me silver. Then- Carly, tell me what the fuck- Silver. This is fucking use- I don't care- Nah. Hey, y Yeah, there's some in my- Where's your purse? Just over there. See? Oh. Hey. I... Is this the weird... Hey, how... <laughs> I think... I shouldn't leave yet. Hey, you- Yeah, the- What? Just over- Oh. Silver. I- A picture of a boat. There are people under the water. Woof. A pic- There are- Woof. I have noted- A weird looking man in a weird- Hey. I need that back. <laughs> Is this the Oh sure, I'll just set them on fire. Nah. 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 I Nah. 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 <laughs> I th She asked me to hold on to it. Nah. 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 How about- <laughs> Three dollars and four cents. Silver. Here. Silver. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He, you were the noose around my neck, Alex. Gavin wanted you, and you sent him into the cold. What the hell do you mean? Oh, you poor, sweet d Not- If only he could have ex- He wouldn't face me. I wanted to meet up, to try and- Just terse phone calls that turned into text- Almost as if we only want to protect- All of us only- You're no fucking. <laughs> Alex, 
I keep hearing weird. I can. Mm -mm. That's what the man said too. But he had a dog. I sh. I can take you to. Mm -mm. That's what the man said. I don't think she wants. I don't. I don't want Rob to get this. Hey, Lydia. Oh, wow! That's the doll I saw with... Yeah, do you... Yeah, let me just... Hey, who's that? Lydia? Lydia? Let's have a look. It's... It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. It's full of worm. It's full of worms. Oh... I'll just... Huh. I sh... Amuse... I'd freeze to death by... Huh. Is that music coming from the bar? Is Floyd finally back? Cause... Hey, uh, hey, Floyd? Ah, yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but... But... Gavin. Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. <laughs> to see your face again. <laughs> How could you leave me like that? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? What that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights. Yeah, I just... You told me you were sick of it. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every... All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. It must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all... It's never easy. Everyone has secrets. Even that Lang fellow. You'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence. Why are you here? Why are you- Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don. There's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were- up. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us. We are all the children of Augur Peak. You can thank Katarina when you see her. She's found something on that island. Something that's changed the sepulcher. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Cat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Huh. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sorry. Those times. On the phone. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What did- Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better. What the hell? Okay. Rob? You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. There he was, weeping in the hall, with a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove, so he could wait it out. 
make his triumphant return after your friends had left. Everything would have gone back to the way it was. He would have cont I could hear you both, you know, through the walls. Hear the terrible things he did to you. How he forced you to... M how you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty... Fuck That's... I am not some victim for you to save from cons... Robert, I am not your... What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Yes. Yeah. She was coming to visit me, my dear, sweet Lydia. No! She wasn't there. Nobody could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off, if she'd even been on in the first place. Nothing. But I knew. I knew. Dead. Just waiting to be found. But then I met you, and I saw how you needed saving. You remind- I'm not your fucking daughter, Rob. I couldn't have that, that dirty boy put in his hands. I'm a pharmacist, you know, to drug them, to knock them. A few cuts here and there, a few threats, and I know how you should have, how oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you, as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. Had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. Not with the gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tie. And he wasn't dirty. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain dump. Frozen. Kevin? This isn't true, is it? This is- It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed- Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. Well, that explains why the phone calls stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a tongue. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. You are so- You are fucking fucked! I hope you fucking die and run- What is going on in here, kids? That Langfellas trying to get some sleep. You know, screaming- Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Oh, hi. Floyd, a whiskey. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. Don't so now what? You have to end this. And that's how it was meant to go. Can't say I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about it. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Cassell. Sorry. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't- I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found- uh, Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight. Like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. There's a fog rolling in. Well, that's gonna make today's work even more fun. Goddamn. Still, 
Harry and Alex should be here later. I hope they had a safe journey. Thank <laughs> you.